Uh, would you like to stand on the podium and read or sit and read whatever you choose? I think that's almost better. Yeah, because then I can sit. <laughs> All right, so Sonam, before you start, would you like to say something about Tina before you start reading immediately? <laughs> please, can you just read? Don't say anything about no, me. People have said enough all things. Paid yeah, to do please. This. Don't no. be silly. I'm not as. <laughs> You're crazy. This is a puff piece platform. <laughs> I paid so, you in boots, and I'm going to take those boots and hit you on the head with them. <laughs> so I'm I'm not the best orator, Karan. As you as you know, I've uh, made many faux pas on your show itself. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think I'll just go ahead and read somebody else's words. As an actor, that's my job, and I think right now I should do my job all as right. well. <laughs> yeah, all right, okay. Um, so, pajamas are forgiving. This is from page 69. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, The need to blink made my eyes water till finally I closed them. And when I opened my eyes again for the next round, I saw Jay was watching me, his gaze fixed, unwavering. The diffused light stripped the years away from him. I could see the man from my youth sitting across another candlelit table, across time itself, the man who made me laugh as he inadvertently mispronounced Bidet, which became my pet name for him for a few years. Bibet. I used to call him, and he in turn called me Juju, an abbreviation for Jujubee. I, I hope I pronounced that correct, yeah. <laughs> a small fruit that tasted like a mix of apples and dates. I glanced back at the candle, but couldn't stop my gaze from repeatedly sliding back to him. When Srinivasan finally switched the lights on and declared that the Trataka class had come to an end, Jay ambled over to the window to get a glass of water from the earthen pot. He turned towards me and said, Anshu, wait, I want to talk to you for a second. Vivan and Jenna were waiting for me near the door, but I waved them onward and walked towards my ex-husband. I just want to say I'm sorry. She had no business making all those statements, even at the clinic. I, I really don't know what to say. It's all right, Jay. Everyone would have got to know sooner or later, I guess. I just, I just wish I had the opportunity of choosing when to tell them myself. I can only apologize on her behalf, Anshu. She's not easy to handle, but I'm going to talk to her. It's all right, I repeated, bending down to fill a glass from the dispenser. The water was warm, my hand unsteady, as I gulped it down, and a trickle splattered onto my kurta. I was raising my arm to wipe my mouth when he caught my hand. You still have this. A tiny circle of gold, a wreath wrapped around my finger. It was not my wedding band that I had discarded a long time ago. This was my first present from Jay. I looked, up, I looked up at him, the memory intertwined in my mind with the lunch we had consumed that day, Chinese, at a hole in the wall called stomach. Jay had dropped toothpicks into the chicken chazwan and then summoned the manager to get us lunch on the house. We left the restaurant giggling, thrilled with our prank, promising to carry dead cockroaches and flies wrapped in tissue paper and stuffed into our pockets on our next date. We crossed the road and I looked into the store window behind me. Motiwala or Meenawala, the name of the store was the one thing I could not recall clearly, and I saw the gold ring. He bought it for me. Do you remember, he said, his voice echoing in the empty yoga pavilion. Once in the middle of a fight, you threw it all over the wall of your house. <laughs> After we made up, we jumped into your neighbor's garden, scrambling on our hands and knees, looking for it in the grass. He smiled, not letting go of my hand. We found it in some plant, right? Yes, it had fallen into a marigold pot. Almost two decades had passed, but I recall that evening distinctly. You took me for a long drive then, and when we returned, Mummy was waiting for us at the door in her favorite striped nightgown, the one that said, I love Mickey Mouse. You remember that? She screamed, you're a thief. And when I asked her, but what have I stolen, Mummy? She yelled back, you have stolen time. You had to come back at 11, now it's 12.30. This is robbery only of full one and a half hours. He laughed. He had an odd laugh, four precise beats, and then it was over, rehearsed, almost theatrical. He once told me that he used to stammer when he was very young, and he would constantly practice his speech, stretching out the vowels when he was in the bathroom. I could picture him, a young boy, standing in front of the mirror, rehearsing various words and probably this very laugh after brushing his teeth every night. My heart swelled for this little lost boy, 
that I knew was still lurking there inside. I looked down at the ring, my hand still clasped within his, and I said, I'm used to it on my hand. Some things become a habit. We walked back together to the main building, ghosts in rustling white, walking in the darkness, unhurried, both making a tally of the things we had lost, things that would never be found at the bottom of, bottom of flower pots. Thank you. Thank you, Sonam. Thank you so much for reading that wonderful passage out. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Sonam. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now, please, may I invite this bona fide force of nature who's won pajamas and come today. <laughs> and, and to do the honors, I don't need to introduce him. He's come already on stage, already. <laughs> All right. Later. Uh, later. Because he's wearing pajamas, I'm going to sell 10,000 extra books. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you, ma'am, actually. Thank you. You are beautiful, intelligent, Talented, <laughs> eloquent, I can't elegant. Thank you, Bolo. Thank you, Bolo. I told him once, say all these nice things to me in front of my husband, my stock will go up, and so thank you very much. Thank you. I'm right now the Again. dollar and not the rupee. Yep. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honored that you selected me. You chose me to read your passages. Especially since I don't read books. I don't read books. The last book I read was Naughty. <laughs> but I did study English medium, ICSC. So here goes. I, I think before I start, a thundering round of applause for the verdict, guys. Full on. You can have as much dessert as you want, mister. <laughs> 